Hello guys, this is Zona and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a D2R loot filter installation guide. Because I'm working on my D2R Holy Grail these days and I usually play it under prayers 3, 5 and even 8. As the prayers count rises, the monsters drop more things. And as you can see here, this is just almost unplayable to me. So I decided to install this loot filter and it's so much better now. Potions are shortened, grand and small charms are now in red color, and runes above flame are displayed with this pickup. This helps a lot to figure out is there anything worth picking up in a very short time so I can move on to the next monster pack. I'm not the creator of this loot filter, I just download it and use it. The creator is called CBRAQZ and I'm terribly sorry I have no idea how to pronounce it. If you want to use this filter please note this is offline only, single player only. Do not use it online. Alright let's see how to make it work. First you need to go to the nexusmas.com and you will see the link in the description below. Then you go to the files here and click manual download. This requires you to make an account of this site. After you downloaded it, right click, extract here. Then you go to your D2R folder. Right click, new folder and name it mods. Go into the mods folder you just created and copy this folder called filter which you just extracted. Right click and paste. Next step is go back to the D2R folder, right click this D2R file, create shortcut, right click, properties, and then add space dash mod space filter. Click apply and OK. Drag this to your desktop. Now run this shortcut once and exit. If you have played single player before and you already have some save files, you have to go where your save files are located, which is saved games D2R. And now copy every single file in this folder. Double click mods, double click filter, and paste. From now on, if you want to play your offline character with loot filter, your characters will be saved here. They will be separated from the original ones. And congratulations, you just finished your loot filter installation. Now you can run the shortcut and enjoy your game. This is it, easy and fast. If you find anything useful in my videos, please subscribe, comment, and hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video.